Well, the heck with it. It's Monday night, and I'm going to do a quick little update for you guys. I came down here to feed the cats, which Mama Kitty decided to come in the shop. She sneaks in here. I open the door, and she'll sneak in here. She likes to get all warmed up, and I'll give her some food and some water. It's one thing I've not been real good on is giving the cats water. But uh, I did tonight. Anyway going on down here tonight I'm heading back up to the house here shortly we're having nachos nachos for supper probably watch a movie or something but uh, I know everybody likes these short little updates and the weather videos but the weather yeah we're having a little bit of snow depending on where you look they say we could get 12 13 14 15 inches of snow the winds picked up too we're going to be drifted in tomorrow. I'm sure the road's going to be shut. And uh, that's okay because we don't have anywhere to go tomorrow. So that's all good. If the power goes out, I got generator up in the house. We're all set on that. But kind of a cruddy night here tonight in central Iowa. And, uh, well, Dad's got a, he's got a blade on the front of his pickup. And then big loader tractor and also a big snowblower that goes on the back of the tractor. So we can get plowed out, but he has something going on in the morning and uh, not able to get over here first thing. And I said, well, we don't have any, any plans on going anywhere tomorrow. So we're just going to hunker down tonight. Hope the power stays on. If not, I have to get the generator out and... It'll run the furnace and stuff. I'm going to get back in the shop where it's nice and warm here. But anyway, that's what's going on. I do have a video coming out on this door. A couple people have asked about how easy this, uh, this bed liner comes off. And really, it doesn't come off very hard. If you use this stuff or something similar... Um, you let it sit and do its thing. It's a little time-consuming. Let it sit and do its thing. It uh, it really doesn't come off too bad. It does look like this was all black, and I think it was caused by this. It was turning it black-colored, and so I kept applying that to it, and I think we have a little bit of a corrosion issue here. It looks like really light surface rust. I'll get into that in the next video. I plan on finishing that up tomorrow. Probably get that out in the next day or two. But uh, then I've got three more doors to do. Well, one of them, one of them like this with the bed liner on it. The other two should be pretty simple. But show you how I get these uh, prepped up for for paint. Got to get all the 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 seals off of it and so forth. Figure out exactly what what I want to do. I mean, with that that 7.3 IDI diesel. That 1990 truck out there. Not going to make a show truck out of it, but you know, want to make it look decent. So, I don't know, we'll work on that. I think the snow just picked up. Yeah, it's going to be a good night. I think it's about time for me to head to the house because this is going to get... Uh, it's gonna get kind of deep heading up to the house. Just get up there and hunker down, and watch a movie, and eat. But anyway, guys, I don't know. I was just down here. I came down here to feed and water the cats, which uh, I fed them. They still have food in their bowl. They're really thirsty. I gave them a bunch of water and they drank it all, but that's all I've got down here. Well, wait a minute. No, I do have a jug of water over here. I need to clean this place up. It's just kind of a mess down here, but anyway, I need to get Mama Kitty out of here too. I don't know where they go at night. There's an insulated doghouse up on the porch, and some of them crawl in there, but it's going to be kind of a nasty night. Anyhow, that's what's going on here at the Fox Shop tonight. What are you guys all doing? And if you want some snow, I'll try to send it your way. If you're wondering why I have vice grips up here, this darn door has a weather seal on the outside, but it would it would go this way just a little bit and it let it let cold air in through there. So I put these vice grips up there to hold the door 
firmly shut and seem to have fixed the problem and for whatever reason right along here this gap right here had uh, a little bit of cool air blowing coming through there so I put some tape on that don't open and close this door very much right now not taking the green truck out in the salt and all that crud I think she'd go pretty good in the snow she always did and I think with the lift and the tires and everything she would do really really well but uh, not gonna expose her to salt so anyhow I'm just kind of rambling on here I just felt like making a little update video for you and see what's going on in your life so anyhow gotta get mama kitty out of here shut the heat off head up to the house get something to eat and enjoy the rest of the night so anyway hope you're having a great night and we will catch you in the next video which should be a not a quick update video more of a actually doing something video uh, getting this door all prepped up ready for primer so show you how I do that so anyway I will catch you next time bye bye